guys, Jamie Tully here. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all keeping safe. Um, I've decided to make a video because I've had such a, a fantastic response from the post I put up on Facebook regarding me sharing recipes and making donations and I'm really proud of and it's great that everybody's getting involved trying to cook different things and I, I would do uh, a recording of, of, of the recipe I've sent out this week uh, which is the curried lentils. Um, so the idea is that this, the flavours are from Malaysia. It's like a curry but it's not spicy but it's, it's got spices that work in harmony together. It's super healthy. Um, this recipe, as you guys will know, has no meat or anything, so it, up until you guys change it, it, it can pretty much be vegan. Uh, lentils are a great source of protein, great source of fiber, uh, and, and, a, and a fantastic food, super cheap, and, and really and should be easy for you guys to get. Um, I completely understand the situation in, in the UK right now, where uh, some things may, you may not be able to get, and I, I completely get it. Um, so, for example, if you, if you can't get macadamia nuts for this recipe, you, you could change them for uh, cashew nuts or even peanuts. Uh, lemongrass also, and, and, and you know the garlic and, and the ginger, I, I would think these would be readily available. However, if you can't, then you know like the little tubes of, of the paste is completely fine. Adapt to where you, where you need to. Um, as much as like, I'd like you to fit, uh, follow it as possible, if, if you simply can't get stuff, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah, so I mean, the, the idea behind me, me doing this thing is that uh, it should use ingredients that people aren't pack buying, so in theory it should relieve the, the supermarkets a little bit and that's the idea and also to keep you guys cooking, different recipes uh, during the lockdown, different ideas, trying to keep you guys healthy and, and this is this is where I'm going with it. I, like I said, I've had such a fantastic response and, and I'm grateful for everybody getting involved. Um, I, I, yesterday I sent over 95 emails to everybody, hopefully this could be the start of something great. So um, without further ado, I will start getting on with uh, this recipe. Okay guys, so as you can see, you don't necessarily necessarily have to do this. You can kind of do things as you go along if it makes it easier. But for the purpose of recording and making a video, it, it's easier to have everything weighed up and good to go. Um, as you can see in here, I've got my lentils, which, which are just, you know, a couple of inches covered in water. In here, I have the ginger, lemongrass, the, the spices, everything else. Yeah, the coconut milk in here, soy sauce, the onions, uh, the nuts here, um, some tomatoes, some chopped coriander for the dish and some coriander to garnish. So I think this is everything apart from the coconut oil. Uh, like I said again if you don't have coconut oil use a, like a vegetable oil or sunflower oil and it's anything that you really want it, it's okay. Um, so yeah let's get on with it. Okay guys in here I, I just have my uh, salt and, and, and some water uh, like a tiny bit of salt just to season so I'm going to boil these now for seven minutes. So they're boiled for seven minutes. Uh, I will take it off the heat and just let them sit in the water. So the uh, lentils will absorb the water and they will actually double in size, as you will see. Okay guys, so I've boiled my lentils for seven minutes. Uh, I've taken them off the heat. As you can see, a lot of the water has been evaporated. 10 minutes, when, when by the time you've made the sauce and everything, you'll find that Pretty much all of that water will be gone and uh, the lentils will absorb it so now we will start making the curry sauce and then uh, we'll go from there and the the best sort of pan that i've found to use this recipe is like a deepish sort of uh frying pan like this uh, i've got a tablespoon of coconut oil inside we'll wait for that to get warm as i said guys if you don't have coconut oil or you can't get to it you know a sunflower oil uh, vegetable oil, something like that is completely fine. The recipe is close as you can. Uh, this this is the best because coconut oil actually has a lovely flavour. So as the pan gets hot, you don't want to get it too hot, otherwise you'll end up burning your spices and everything as soon as it goes in, and we don't want to do that. So okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to add the uh, the garlic, the garlic, ginger, and the spices. So I've got fennel, coriander, uh, lemongrass. Yeah, an awful spot. So we'll add this to the pan. If you can't get the seeds, guys, uh, you can use the powders. That's fine. I would I would probably use um, maybe half half to three quarters of the amount that the recipe says because the powders are generally more concentrated. So guys, what you want to do is just going to sweat this off, and you don't you don't want to burn it or you don't want to add any color really. Um, the idea is just to bring all the oils out of the spices and this is probably the most important part of the recipe because if this doesn't go quite right then the whole thing is affected. 
So yeah, we're just going to keep sauteing this off. So, and then obviously at this stage, the smells in your kitchen are going to be as good as mine. It smells incredible in here. So I'm just going to carry on sauteing, sauteing this down. So all the spices release all their natural oils, all the flavors. And this is the base of our curry sauce. Second. Okay, it really does smell good in here now. I love it. This is what cooking is all about. Okay. So you'll be able to see it as you cook, you know, like the, the flavour and, and the smells will develop and uh, you will smell if they start going too strong that that means you're starting to burn them and you need to get this off the heat as fast as you can uh, And if you go too far just start again uh, Because there's not many things worse than burnt spices So now when we get to this stage We're gonna add our onions So add this to the pan Also, as you can see, guys, you can see the lentils here are, you know, absorbing the water as, as I said they would. So this is good. So the goal here is to caramelize the onions, get them sweated off, cook them down with all the spices, and just keep working the pan. And obviously, guys, you know, if you if you see it getting too hot, take the pan off the heat, reduce the heat on your stove. You are, you are completely in control of this, you know, don't be scared, you are in control. The smells in here are amazing, really good. Really good. So, I mean, I say in, in my recipe, uh, I've said it serves four. You could obviously, depending on your portion sizes, you may get one more, may get one less. Um, but I, you know, it's it's really a fairly cheap dish to pr produce. Um, so, you know, and, and you can you can go anywhere with this really. From here, you know, you can add different spices, different flavors. Like as I try to explain in my recipe, when once you've blended, got the sauce blended, you can really pair it with anything. In the past, I've done it with lobster, I've done it with prawns, I've done it with lamb, I've done it with, with so many different things. And uh, a sort of vegan alternative was to do it with lentils. Um, so, and to keep the cost down for you guys and all that sort of thing, um, you know, lentils is a good way to go. So I've just turned this down now because, you know, I, I, can, I can tell that the pan is starting to get a bit too hot and, and, and I don't want to start burning things here, otherwise that would mean game over. So, okay. So when you get to this stage, I mean, nice amount of color on them. For me, these onions are cooked enough. I don't want to take them too far. And now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. So I'm using two plum tomatoes, which I've just roughly diced. Um, and I'm gonna turn the heat back up because uh, the cold tomatoes are obviously gonna take a lot of heat out of the pan and I want to cook these down. I don't know if, if you've had experience with making curries before, but actually this is the base for a lot of curries, is that you have your onions, your garlic, your ginger, your spices, and your tomatoes. This is really the base for um, a lot of Indian curries, and they say, like, we're doing a Malaysian take on this because we're using macadamia nuts and uh, coconut milk and stuff like this. But it's, it's very similar to Indian cooking as well. So from here, again, you know, you can be completely flexible, and, and go whatever you want, a madras paste. You can add a, um, anything you want really. So, 
going to keep cooking this down. And cook this down for about five or six minutes until the tomatoes all go nice and soft and we have the base of a sauce. Okay guys, so as you can see in my pan now, the tomatoes are starting to break down. It's uh, smelling really good in here. So I'm just going to work this out for a few minutes. Cook it all down. And then after this we are going to add the nuts. I said I've got um, macadamia nuts, but if you can't get them, uh, I would say a cashew nut or even a peanut is, is probably the, the, the closer way to go. So, here goes. So we have the nuts. Now we're just going to cook these for a few minutes, bring some of the oils, some of the flavour out of the nuts. It's actually also help to thicken the sauce too, uh, and give it a nice smooth creamy flavour and texture. So, yeah. so, next we will add the coconut milk. So, it doesn't really matter what kind of coconut milk you use, as long as it's unsweetened, and you know, whether it comes out of a tin or it comes out of um, a carton, it's completely fine. So add the coconut milk. Bring it to a boil, and I'm just going to reduce that just a little bit for a few minutes. Mm. Smells really good. Mm. I used to make this dish quite a lot in Dubai um, for the family I was working out there, and uh, this was a good one. This is one they really liked. Um, so it's one of the first recipes I'm giving to you guys. Um, so yeah, so we'll just cook this out now for three or four minutes, just reduce it ever so slightly, and then we're going to transfer the whole mix to a blender. We'll get onto that in a minute. Okay guys, so now I'm going to blend this for a good three or four minutes. Uh, I want it as smooth as possible. Okay guys, so I've blended it so it's nice and smooth. It smells incredible. So I'm going to pour this back into the pan that we started with. And then, like I said in my recipe, this is a stage where uh, this can go with anything. Uh, say chicken, lobster, prawns, anything. It's really robust, it's really uh, versatile. So this is basically uh, a laxa sauce. Um, anyway, so we get to this stage, then we will add our lentils. Don't worry, you see that if there's some water in there, that's completely fine. Add all that in there too. Okay, so just give them a nice stir. Yeah, at the moment, it will look like there's a lot of sauce for the lentils. But you see, as we cook these down, the lentils will absorb the sauce and it will thicken up. So I'm going to put this back on the heat and I'm going to go sort of like a medium to a low heat. Because as it boils it will spit everywhere in. and we're going to cook this for about between 12 or 15 minutes depending on how how you like it if you like the lentils with a bit more of a bite cook it less and obviously if you like them softer cook them for longer okay guys so once you've cooked it out and you can see it's starting to thicken like mine um, i have added the soy sauce and you'll notice that i, I didn't really, i didn't season this all the way through uh, is because i'm using soy sauce at the end uh, this is completely optional. You can use salt if, if you prefer, uh, but I think it's, uh, the soy sauce gives a really nice umami flavor and it keeps in time with like the Asian sort of thing, Malaysian thing. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna cook this now for a further five or six minutes, just reduce it just a little bit more. Um, of course, you can reduce it as much as you want if you want it thicker. Uh, and then we are ready to serve. So you can see it coming together now. So it's beautiful colors very vibrant okay guys so this is done for me uh, for me it's got the perfect bite to the lentils and again at this point you, you can still add whatever you want if you wanted to add chicken lobster prawns the list is endless you know you, you can add it at any stage uh, also with the seasoning if you, if you like a bit more soy sauce a little less that does down to you as well personal taste so uh, we will plate this up okay guys so I'm gonna start plating up you have to bear with me because it's dark here now so there will probably be shadows and stuff on the camera. Um, but you can serve this however you want. You want to go in a bowl or on a plate or however. 
Remember guys, there is a 25 pound reward for the person that takes the best photo of this recipe. So, I mean, I've, I've said this serves full, but to me, you could probably get a lot more out of it. So, like so. And then just on top, if you have some nuts left, which I don't, um, so I'm going to do some fresh coriander. You could even go on top, you know, with some fresh yogurt. A nice squeeze of lemon. However you really want to go, it's completely up to you. So. So, there you have it guys. This is my curry lentils. Pretty much vegan. And uh, say super healthy, super nutritious. 